Hey, I'm Tekken Gadgets for you, and today I'm going to be showing you two different ways you can blur an object in Final Cut Pro iPad Edition. So, let's just get started. So, you drag your thing in, your video, into the timeline. Now you hit inspect, and you go to the three little, like, squares on top of each other over here. And then you're going to hit the plus side, and then you're going to choose blur. We're going to talk about the first one, and there are four different options, and we're only going to be worrying about the top first one. Ganshin, I think that's how you say it. But the bottom three, don't worry about them. Just hit Ganshin. And then, as you can see, the whole thing is blurred. So now, go ahead and click onto the effect, Ganshin, and then hit Add Mask. Okay, now you hit Add Mask, and that makes it so it's a certain spot. So, hit Shape Mask, and now you can move it to wherever you want. So, let me just move this over here a little bit. So, I have my iPad. I'm going to blur that. So, I'm going to move it onto my iPad, and then I'm going to make it bigger. There we go. So, it's covering up the whole iPad. So, now it's covering up the iPad and I'll get out of this and then you can choose the amount you want so I'm gonna blur it like about right there that's good and then blur boost make it a little bit a little bit blurrier there you go just like that and then now if I want to keep it blurred onto that so say it's gonna move I could just cut it right here and then I'm gonna keep going move it move it and then it moves a little bit so now I'm gonna hit inspect again and then this and then I can move it and make it bigger and since I cut it, it's saved right there. So now I can move it to that spot and rinse and repeat. So now, anywhere I move my iPad, I'll just keep it so it's blurred. There we go. It's still blurred, still blurred, still blurred. And there we go. So that's the first way you can blur. Now let's get on to the second way. Okay, here's the second way you can do it. So go into effects again and then hit the plus sign. But instead of hitting blur this time, hit stylize. And now we're going to hit pixelate. So instead of blurring it, we're going to pixelate it. So it looks a little bit different, but pixelate it instead of blurred. You'll see. So hit pixelate. And then again, hit Add Mask, and then hit Shape Mask, and now you can move it wherever you want. So let me get the iPad popping up. There we go, and then I'm going to make the size bigger right there. So as you can see, now it's pixelated, and I'm going to make it more pixelated so it's even <laughs> blurred even more. So let's just hit Amount and drag it right there. So now, as you can see, it's pixelated blurred. So I'm going to put it right there. That's good. And then now, again, same thing. If it moves, I'll just cut it, but it actually seems to stay in the same spot. So the blurred... It's good, but I move my face in there, so let me just move that a little bit, right there. So now, when it's, I pull my iPad out, my face isn't as blurred. My hand is, my iPad is, so that's how you blur. The one way and the second way, so the first way, just blurring it normally. Second way, pixelating blurring it. That concludes today's Tech and Gadgets for you video. If you want to see more videos like this, I'm going to be doing one on a green screen, how to do it in, in Final Cut Pro iPad, so if you want to see that video, leave a like, and if you want to... To make sure you don't miss any future videos, subscribe and hit that bell. I will see you in the next video. Bye.